and welcome back to episode four of Kiev Motors in Automation, where we are have designed our new engine, we have designed our new model, and we just have to get our trim done. Before I forget, this facelift will be the KV-1. Or maybe the KV-51, as it is 51. That, and I just had a thought. This model is the drumstick. Now let's see, uh, we had finished the drivetrain looking at the wheels, I believe. I'm going to assume easy sections on a lot of this. Basic, none, none, there we go. <clears throat> now for the market, I actually forgot what market we were targeting with this, but we will play it by ear. We'll just start mark I'm making it and see where it ends up what categories it does particularly well I do want to take a look at the other car models we have these ones where all right, it's not going to give us anything till they finish, but it was all in the ut utility category, family category, those ones. If we can get like fun budget, pony budget, possibly family sport, those are all four to five. Maybe city premium. Or just city. Not much of a utility vehicle. Sport budget might be a decent target. Drivability, sportiness. Uh, it has a little bit of prestige though, and that's not really something we're looking for. On that speed cornering. Pony definitely requires a bit of prestige. We're not looking for that. A fun and fun budget might be the optimal target track budget all sportiness and definitely a lot fewer seats we're not about that yet it's a small category we want to hit as many categories as possible i'm going to keep this in the four to five seat range now it's five should be optimal keeping it as five now yeah, there's no benefit to reducing it automatic definitely helps because I can't see it because it's locked on the muscle car we're gonna switch it to fun budget even though these are the highest categories right now this is what we're gonna target let's see Yep, and we need to shift it first on budget 75 only 5% of affordability though. It's already pretty expensive I should be targeting fun The case might want a medium compound force compound might be a bit much Definitely makes the tires a lot more expensive Stick with medium for now Now those are maxed out. Switch those to 16 inch rims. Oh no, wrong way. The one is bigger tires. That's going to give me some flexibility. One fifty five, very sporty. Let 
maybe 150s. Still very sporty. Lock it, take a take a comparison. Looking at safer, more sporty, more drivable. Sportiness is coming from there though, I'm not too concerned about that. Practicality, utility, fuel economy, weight, material. Cornering is 7.7. Seven. There it is, 7.3. Yeah, let's splurge a little bit and go for wider tires. 2.7. We'll need to adjust this some. Yeah, let's do the 165s. The look looks kind of proper. Maybe, oh, wrong way. Can't set them out. Rubbing them out looks funny. Does help some, but I don't want to overdo it. Leave it there. Manual doesn't help. Leave it as an automatic. Actually, yeah. Front wheel drive. You really like the front wheel drive because drivability is more important than the sportiness. Also, a lot less expensive. And still applies to the pony. Hurts the muscle category, or more likely the muscle category just benefits from it less. Let's try that out. Go with the automatic still. Manual locker, automatic locker. This makes it heavier and more expensive. Doesn't really help. I'm gonna go with 65 on the spacing maybe no i don't i really don't after seeing that minivan like we need to uh be more reasonable <clears throat> estimated top speed we want a little bit of overdrive not much and it does hurt our zero to 60. I think I'd already decided on compromising and just going with the top speed. Seeing how she turns out from there. Front brakes way behind the rear brakes. That's with larger front brakes. We go to the two shoe. We duplicate the same thing with a smaller brake. So, what do we have for our budget here? Just under $2,000. We go to $200. Yeah, much more expensive. Better to use the two shoe. And does not terribly hurt the engineering time. Like half a month. But, of course, we're going to have to lift it anyways. Because we need to get these to more reasonable values. I don't want to increase... Oh, they're okay with it. But I don't want to increase it too much. Because the brake type... Definitely hurts the affordability. We'll leave it there. We'll just go with bigger brakes. Woof. There's our rear brakes. Front brakes don't quite make it either. And actually lower. About there. Now, let's increase it by 10. After locking it in place and comparing. 
Oh, that hurts our drivability a little bit, helps the sportiness a little bit. Better fuel economy, lighter weight. We're using smaller in the back. More expensive though, because the cost of the pad type. Go up five more. Drop the pad size slightly, or brake size. And that adds another $40 just for five. But it gets us optimal braking, theoretically. No need for an off road skid tray, that's just extra weight. Aren't the fun with that much cooling? First time I've seen that in Archana. Go with 60, a little bit of a boost. Interior, don't want to keep that. No desire for better interior. Not even for fun premium. Then we have safety. They might actually benefit from. I think so, yes. Then suspension. Port suspension, of course. Possibly utility. All right, that's pretty significant across multiple categories. Not bothering out, is she? Actually, she is. I'm only high on the drivability side. We need to fix that. So, sportiness wise, would it be better? No, we want wider tires. Can we do it with camber? Or terminal behavior? So that should be semi-stable, but that's not really where we want the sportiness. That brings it up a little bit more. How's this looking so far? Pretty wide tires. Go for a larger diameter. I can fatten them up a little bit more. Right in the middle, I'm not sure that's the right choice. Definitely making it a lot more expensive. We go the other way where Come back down to 680, drop the size of the rim. Yeah, we're hurting the supporting nest too much. Or terminal behavior. Definitely want it to understeer as a preference. Definitely cheaper. That's a bit silly. Don't want smaller tires. What if? And it up a bit, and in the width. All right, hold this car, drop the rim diameter again, max it out. We're hurting it more than we're helping it. About 16 rim. 
Move that back. 16. Brings our tire width down at the largest diameter. Really, 15s are where it's optimal. I don't think we're going to improve upon that much. Brakes are messed up again. All that change to the rim sizes. Let's see. Nope, that's helping fund premium. Not a big market. It's hurting it there. I think we'll just keep it right around. We'll homogenize it. Same front and back. Drop the pad type. Try to keep this in the the non-premium zone. I'm not going to go too much into the comfort area. Alright, and we'll use 215s. That's a lot of pressure on the front tires, unfortunately. And we move this more to back do something like that interior we already established safety was good look at the suspension again ability change the camber a little bit Stop it right there. Yeah, I think we're losing it on the poor terminal behavior. Yep, back to 195.2. 90. Turn it. This is close as we can get without being silly. Yep. I think that's as good as we're going to get it. Sitting pretty high. We lower her down some. Better for the roll angle. Wow. I just really like it high in Archana. It's all those bumpy roads. Yeah, we really had it dialed in with those sway bars. Then we have... Uh, Decent spring rate. Stiffen up the front a little bit. Soften the back. Gonna make it drivable, less sporty though. And then, just. I think we're hurting it too much. Like, we've lost all sportiness at this point. Detail stats, sportiness, where are we getting hurt most? Gearbox. We switch the gearbox to a manual. Then we're just lacking power. 
chassis stiffness. Tires could be better. Only a 3.3. What about a sports compound? Nope, still hurting us on the tires. That's not really what they're complaining about then. They're still complaining about the tires, but it's it's most likely tire width. I think I'm going to have to leave it. Oh yes, back to automatic. Rear wheel drive just won't do. Front wheel drive's a bit easier to drive. I don't know, we have so much more power than we do the van. I think I can risk a little bit more longer spacing. Really hurts the zero to hundred though. Says zero to sixty in top speeds, zero to a hundred in spacing. Close enough. Now, if we do this, that better. On eighty six, one eighty six nine, one eighty seven, go there. I think that's the happy medium. Decent spring rate. Wobbles a little bit. All we can do at this point is potentially throw in a little quality, but I don't think that's going to help. It's going to make it too expensive, extend the engineering time. I want to look. Or not. Yeah, that's, that's a waste. Interior, they don't really care. Driver aids. That is where it might benefit. 188. One won't hurt. Safety quality. Yeah, we can't really mess with that too much. Suspension. No. All right, I think, I think we have the first of our drumsticks. Not entirely happy with these numbers. Works for fun and fun premium. Even getting some over on the convertible side. Got some in the pony categories, some in the muscles, some in the sport budget. Sport budget would be nice to really push that. Then we have our city categories. I'm going to leave it targeted for the fun. Fun budget, there's just not enough affordability, even though it's theoretically better. Trim for this one. A wishbone, semi-trailing. We have 70 by 81. 1.4 liter. 62 horsepower. Utility vehicle. I don't even know what the PV was. Ones are fun. So this would be the fun vehicle. Okay, so I think since we named it Drumstick as the model, this is going to be the Cornish Fun Vehicle. 
I know, I know. Let's be FV51. Now if we edit the trim again, and get that convertible. What happens there? Not even going to ask. It's fine. So we have a convertible. Clearly, we're going to target this for. Ooh, convertible sport budget. I'm looking for. That's two to five. We can hit the muscle, possibly the track, or we can keep it for a strict convertible, but it will do poorly in that market, I imagine. I think there's a lot of options out in that area. Certainly large enough to have the seats. What do we get? So we do start to get the track car on there. So yeah, we'll make a two-seater convertible. He's going to be... Cherry red, of course. Ooh, how about a rose red? Still concerns me. Rose red, we'll keep everything else the same. We definitely want to prioritize it being sporty over... over anything else. Sport compound, slicks are a little too much. Yeah, I knew that going in. Offset the front tires a little bit. We'll get a better break. Also looking at that track budget. The compromise on this one. See, definitely want higher. Actually, yeah, convertible sports car. It's gonna be rear wheel drive. Same with the track budget. If we see that on there, definitely want it manual if we're going to target the track budget. Although I didn't change it too much. Go for three speed on that. We'll wait for now. No need for those. That's going to change our vehicle balance significantly. Leave that. Bump it up to max. Yeah, that seems to work just fine. Don't need max sized rear brakes. Well, we could go max size and get a little bit more braking performance. Take a look. Or take a look, see how this this ends up. Only a lot cheaper. But the braking performance overall should be a lot worse doing it this way. We're on 220s on the back. Be lighter. 
Hurts it in a couple categories. Fine. Just fine. All right, aerodynamics. Definitely helping it. They want it more reliable. Wow, skid tray, desirable. On both the track and the convertible sport. Get the track targeted in there. Possibly the sport budget as well. I don't want to have too many categories up here. You shouldn't have any issues with the brakes. As expected, a little bit of interior definitely helps the convertible side of things. Premium, sport, luxury, and made. Premium actually does really well. Maybe I should target this specifically for the convertible market. A little bit of radio. Oh, that's really increasing the engineering time. It's the radio. Okay. Driver aids, safety. I do want safety. Advanced is desirable. Hit max. Then it should be sport. Ability, sport. Normal. Normal. It's likely because it has the, uh, has a good sportiness value. I do want it to be a little bit more racy. Work with this, not bottoming out. Put it in that category. It rolls quite a bit. The heavy sway bar. Get the, there we go. Getting the sportiness where we want it. We're probably gonna have to adjust that. Take a look at stiffening up front and the back. Increase the dampers. Yeah, that's definitely increasing the desirability on it. Don't want to sacrifice all comfort. Different springs are wanted though. And not quite that much damping. Okay. Like where that's headed. Good category, good area. Not the best car in the world. Don't care, but with the other one going on, this will be uh, splitting production somewhat. Did give up on the track on this one. But what do we call this one? Call it the Basque. Convertible. There we go. I'm going to throw another model on there.
go back to the coop. This one we will target track. Budget and sport. We want two seats. Got that. We'll keep the rose red. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and change the paint. Not rose red. We want kind of a silver almost. And eh, that's more of a premium thing. I don't know, maybe. All right, I like that color better. So, track, they definitely want more gears and a manual. Differential's not going to help. Neither will they have 4x4, four four. that slows it down too much. Wow, they really like the front wheel drive for it. But they preferred... I have to look at doing the uh, front wheel on the convertible as well. Sportiness, we definitely want shorter gearing, but apparently not. Well, it's actually pretty happy at 50. The brakes, we probably definitely want heavier. Well, no. Helps for the sport budget. Better for softer brakes. Who knew? And again, these are budget versions of these vehicles. We max out the rear brake size. We can move the balance forward. Get a better brake. Cooling airflow, we probably want to reduce that. Yep, that's a pretty significant improvement. Not too much. Lose the skid tray. We lose the interior. Of sport. Nope, too expensive. I mean, the sport budget likes it. Track budget does not. Lose the radio. I actually like the safety somewhat. It's a trade off. Oh, they both like standard 40s. Track budget actually likes none. Might go with that. Keep a little bit there before race, which will get the track budget. Sport, which will get both of them. Utility hurts them a little bit. Sport is what we're looking at. Force compound works. I adjust the wheels overly much. I'll set the rears by a bit. Also the sportiness probably looks a little silly that much. Elbow them in just a little bit. So we're looking for all sport raceability. How do we get that in with our suspension?
without going overboard. And we lower it down. Now that hurts the sport budget a bit much. Keep it at 225. Just camber. And that hurts the track budget. We don't want that terminal behavior. Really aggressive cambering. 169. Go back to 0.5. Okay, not terrible. Stiffer springs. They still want some drivability. Comfort is a non-factor. Port budget does care about comfort. Let's push it up into the race category. Want more dampers. Maybe loosen it up just a little bit. I'll keep the sport budget about 150. I'm not entirely pleased with this. I feel like I'm rushing it a little bit. Like I could mess with the tire widths a bit. Possibly adjust the the top speed a bit. And what do we call it? Oh, never mind. I know. Bantam. Track. Budget 51. Convertible sport budget. That one's just fun. So we got a line of three cars. Do we want to do more? Not sure we want to with this particular trim. Like we have a wagon, we can definitely do that. We have a pickup, we can definitely do that. We'll look at possibly doing that. I think to start, we don't want engineering to be too long. We'll keep it in this categories. This is the ones we worked on. These are the ones we're going to do. We'll get them ex exported out to um, BMNG and we'll kind of see how they drive. And with that, I am running a little bit low on time at this point. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'm happy you stayed to the end. Please leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Take care.